requesting everybody be seated. Please, only those involved for taking care of Gurmara to be in front, otherwise everybody else should step down. Okay? Now, anybody without a mask, we are requesting you, please do not go near them. So, this, we take this great opportunity to welcome His Holiness, Bhakti Vikna Vinaj Narshino Maharaj, and His Holiness, Srinajay Pataka Maharaj, who will be giving us the spiritual discourse on the glories of Srimati Radharani. So it is with great pleasure on all of our behalf, we invite His Holiness, Narshina Maharaj, to give the first spiritual discourse. Hare Krishna. So, in the, in the Radha Ashtami Maho Mahatsavatirke, Bharati Purindirukum, Srila Jayapataka Swami, Matrum Srila Narashinga Maharaj, Agya Yirubarayum, Bariga Bariga in Ravaravir Kindrom, Mudalil Bhakti Bhigna Vinash Narashinga Maharaj, Surpuri Vai Atruvar. Om Magyanat Marandasya Kananjana Shalakaya So can we have silence please? Bhakti Thank you. Bhaktur Militanye Nathasma Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhristo Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupakadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Bandeham Shri Gara Shri Yatapada Kamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Sakrajatam Sahagana Raganatan Vitam Tam Sajevam Sadvayatam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishaka Nitamscha He Krishna Karana Sindhu Dhinna Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrinda Vaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhai Evacha Patita Nam Pavanipyo Vaishnavipyo Namo Nama Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swaminiti Namine Namaste Sarasati Devi Ghoravani Pracharine Nirvisesha Sanyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine Hare Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Hatvaita Gadadhar Shri Vasade Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So we're going to attempt to say something to glorify the appearance of Srimati Radharani. She is, of course, the pleasure potency of Lord Krishna, what is known as the Ladini Shakti. Her purpose in coming and in, in appearing here in this world is simply to give pleasure to Lord Krishna. She came into this world at Varsana, which is the, the residence of Maharaj Vrishabhanu and his good wife Kirtida. 
So, she was the daughter of Maharaj Prishabhanu. But she's not an ordinary woman, an ordinary girl. She is the pleasure potency of the Supreme Lord. And she's worshipped by all the young girls in Gokula today. They will all be praising her, glorifying the people of Vrindavan are all very much attached to Srimati Radharani. But she's especially, uh, uh, she, she's especially loved by all the young girls in Vrindavan. And they like to praise her glories. So Srimati Radharani is so chaste to Lord Krishna that it is described that at her very birth her eyes were closed. She did not look on anyone. So her parents were puzzled. It's unusual, our child not opening her eyes. But then after some time Nanda Maharaj and Mother Yashoda came from Goku, and they brought their son, Lord Krishna, with them. And as soon as Lord Krishna came in front of the Srimati Radharani in her baby form, immediately she opened her eyes. So this, this indicates the chastity of Srimati Radharani how she is simply attached to one person and that one person is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Sri Krishna. She never looks on any other man other than Lord Krishna. The chastity is the most important quality for a woman and Srimati Radharani embodies all the good qualities of a woman, particularly her chastity. That she is completely faithful to Lord Krishna. So, as a young girl, she had the opportunity to serve a great sage named Durvasa. Durvasa had come to Varsana and Srimati Radharani as a young girl, she rendered service to him, bringing food and cooking and preparing things, doing different services for him. And he was so pleased with her that he gave her a benediction that whatever she would cook, it would always just be like nectar. So, Mother Yashoda was aware that Srimati Radharani had this benediction from Durvasa. So she requested Srimati Radharani that you kindly come to our home and cook for Krishna. Because every day, Krishna is going out into the forest with the cows and usually we just prepare some yogurt and rice for him to take with him into the forest. So he takes a very simple lunch. But when he comes home at night, he is, he is ready for a good supper. So Srimati Radharani was recruited by Mother Yashoda that she should go into the kitchen and prepare Lord Krishna's supper. And she would do it with great pleasure. Working over the hot fires was a, a joy for Srimati Radharani because it was all her service to Lord Krishna. She simply wants to give pleasure to Krishna and she tolerated the heat of the fires and she put up with the, the labor which is required 
to be in the kitchen all day. It was all her way of giving service to Lord Krishna. She, she, could, she was willing to sacrifice that. Actually, the heat from the fires in cooking was not as great as the heat or the fire which came from separation from Lord Krishna. Because Lord Krishna would go off to the forest every day, so all the people of Vrindavan, including Srimati Radharani, they would feel that separation every day as Lord Krishna would go off into the forest with the cowherd boys. So this feeling of separation, this is the mood of the gopis and this is particularly the very special mood which is cultivated by Srimati Radharani in her love for Krishna. That she feels pleasure being with Krishna. But when Krishna is separated from her, the feeling and the attachment to Krishna is in enhanced greatly, that she feels more love for Krishna in his separation. So this mood of separation from Krishna, this was something which was revealed in the line of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas by a great devotee named Madhavendra Puri. Madhavendra Puri had taken initiation in the line of Madhva Acharya. And Madhavendra Puri went on, he was the spiritual master also of Advaita Acharya and many other great Vaishnavas had also taken initiation from Madhavendra Puri. And it was Madhavendra Puri who discovered the deity of Gopal on Govardhan Hill. That deity is worshipped today in Nathdwara as Srinathji. But the deity was actually found by Madhavendra Puri. And Srila Prabhupada said, actually, said, this, this deity belongs to our line, our parampara. But what happened was after some time, the deity was given to the sons of Balaba Acharya. And the sons of Balaba Acharya brought Gopal over to Nathdwara and it's worshipped there today by Pushtimark, which is another Vaishnava parampara, but different from our Gaudiya Vaishnavism. So Madhavendra Puri had established the worship of the deity of Gopal and then he had been ordered by Gopal to go and bring sandalwood and camphor and to do that he had to go all the way to Puri and on the way to Puri he stopped at Rimuna and there in Rimuna there's a deity of Gopinath where they offer sweet rice. And so it happened that the deity stole one pot of sweet rice and then appeared in the dream of the pujari and told the pujari that I want you to take this pot of sweet rice which I've taken and I want you to give it to my devotee Madhavendra Puri. So that deity of Gopinath became known as Shira Chora Gopinath. And why did he steal the sweet rice? He did it to give to Madhavendra Puri. Madhavendra Puri was such a, a great soul. So he cultivated the worship of Lord Krishna in that mood of separation. And he recited a prayer which was actually spoken by Srimati Radharani. The words of Srimati Radharani appeared on the tongue of Madhavendra Puri. 
ಐ ದಿನ ದಯಾದ್ರನ್ನತಹೆ ಮುತ್ತೂರನ್ನಾತ ಕದಬಲೋಕ್ಷ್ಯಸೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ರಾಧಾರಾಣಿ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಡ್ ಟು ಹವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಹರ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಬೈ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಓ ಮೈ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಓ ಬಿಲವೆಡ್ ಓ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಓಫ್ ಮುತ್ತೂರ ವೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ನಾವ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ನಾಟ್ feel because of my not seeing you my most agitated heart has become unsteady oh my lord what should i do now so this mood of ecstatic love was expressed by shrimati radharani and it was repeated through the mouth of madhavendra puri and lord chaitanya he relished this wonderful ex- this expression of love which were the actual words of shrimati radharani shrimati radharani was saying to krishna that you've gone away you've left me in vrindavan you've gone off to mathura and you've become the lord of mathura i'm feeling the absence your absence is painful to my heart and she's expressing her helplessness to lord krishna she said what should i do now so this mood of separation from lord krishna this is the the in the mood in which shrimati radharani shares in her loving exchange with lord krishna this is the mood of the gopis and this mood was cultivated by lord chaitanya mahaprabhu lord chaitanya mahaprabhu and his followers like the goswamis of vrindavan they all cultivated that mood of shrimati radharani and the gopis of vrindavan which was the mood of vipralamba seva service in separation so because of madhavendra puri lord chaitanya mahaprabhu took initiation in that line of the cyclic succession from madhvacharya he wanted that connection and that mood of conjugal love before madhavendra puri there was no conjugal love in that disciplic succession it was madhavendra puri who introduced this and this is why shri chaitanya mahaprabhu took initiation into that line of vaishnavism so this verse which was uttered by shrimati radharani it is said only three people understand the meaning of this verse shrimati radharani herself madhavendra puri and shri chaitanya mahaprabhu this this verse is described it said just like among all jewels the kastuba mani is the most valuable the most precious of all gems so this verse recited by shrimati radharani it is a jewel of poetry written describing the mellows of loving devotion and just as sandalwood produces a wonderful aroma as you rub the sandalwood the fragrance of the sandalwood is enhanced more and more in the same way the more we contemplate this verse and try to enter into the understanding of this verse the more absorbed we become in the mellows of loving devotion to lord krishna so this mood of shrimati radharani this is of course the very ultimate level of devotional service we are trying to begin the path of devotion we have to go through the goswamis naratam das thakur has said stated rupan rupa ragunatha pade hai byakade kebe hama bujaha bose yugala priti 
that anyone who genuinely desires to understand the pastimes of Radha and Krishna, they must follow through the teachings of the Goswamis like Srila Rupa Goswami and Srila Raghunath Das Goswami. We, we cannot simply jump to the topmost level which was exhibited in the pastimes of Srimati Radharani. But we want to understand these things very carefully with the guidance of the Goswamis. And so they're teaching us the importance to cultivate the strong foundation in our practice of devotion by faithfully and regularly hearing and chanting, cultivating the, that practice of regularly hearing the topics of Lord Krishna and chanting his holy name, describing his wonderful qualities and pastimes. And when we say Lord Krishna, we not only mean Lord Krishna himself, but all of his different expansions and his potencies and his associates and his devotees. Amongst all the devotees of Lord Krishna, the said the gopis of Vrindavan are the topmost. And there are many, many gopis in Vrindavan. And among all these gopis, 108 are very special. And from these 108, it is said eight are particularly special. Just like in Mayapur, we have Radha Madhava and the Asta Sakis. Eight gopis are there. Tungavidya, Chitra, Champakalata, Lalita, Vishaka, Induleka, Rangadevi and Sudevi. And in the center, we have Sri Sri Radha Madhava. So Srimati Radharani is supreme amongst all the gopis. And why is she supreme? Because she has the greatest love for Krishna. So today we are celebrating her glorious appearance and we're praying that we can also get the mercy of Srimati Radharani because by the mercy of Srimati Radharani then Lord Krishna will certainly also accept us into his loving service. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Can we say a Hari Bowl to His Holiness Narsingha Maharaj for a wonderful start of the glories of Sri Madhuradhi. And we say together, Hari Bowl! Thank you very much. Thank you very much Maharaj. Now we would like to take this opportunity to invite His Holiness Sri Jayapataka Swami Maharaj to give us the spiritual discourse for this evening. Chitta Chaitanya Prabhu, you've got a mic for yourself. Chitta Prabhu. Chitta Prabhu. Guru Maharaj needs a mic. Prabhu, get the mic. Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Sri Vati Vati Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste 
सा सतीदेव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे प्रभु नित्यानंद गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 हर यादवाय नम श्रीमदुसुदंगुम लंगायते गिरीगुरदिनिणम श्री चैतन्य ईश्वर Oh, today is our Sister's Day. Oh, God, so today is the, the auspicious day of Radha Ashtami. <coughs> the day that Radha appeared. The day that Radha Rani appeared. It's a very special day because Radha Rani is the It is a very special day because Shri Mati Radha Rani is the pleasure potency of the Lord. All the kings of Durga, all the holies, all the kings of Durga, all the rishis, they all go to Radha Rani. all the queens of dwarka all the gopis all the lakshmis they all come from shrimati radharani <coughs> so radharani has a very special pose so shrimati radharani has is has a special very special potency Krishna expands into Radha Rani, and Krishna expands into Radha Rani. Radha Rani, as you heard, is completely uh, intended to give Krishna pleasure, and as and as Sri Mati Radha Rani, as you heard. is completely intending to give pleasure to lord krishna oh oh i know that when krishna appears his pulse here also appears so narada muni knew that when krishna appeared his internal potency would also appear <coughs> So he was going around trying to find out what the what the pulse was. So he was going around trying to find out where that pleasure potency was. He went to the house of Vrishabhanu and Kirtida. He went to the house of Vrishabhanu and Kirtida. What? They didn't show Radha Rani to him, but they didn't show Radha Rani to him. Yes, she kept her eyes closed because she kept her eyes closed. So they thought, "Oh, she is a wise lady. What she is." So they show, show she show they thought she is a blind baby. 
what is the use? But Narada Muni asked, you don't have any baby girl? We have one, but she is blind. We have one, but she is blind. Let me see. Let me see. I can't. Then they came and gave Radharani in the hands of Narada Muni. He had never seen any baby so beautiful. He had never seen any baby so beautiful. As soon as Radharani touched him, Stunned and speechless. And as soon as Radharani touched him, he became stunned and speechless. So, looking on, Radharani was like frozen. They were looking on, but Narada Muni was like frozen and tears were rolling down his eyes. So after some time, he came back Harari and said, you take care of his daughter. She is very important. So after some time, he gave back Radharani and she, uh, she said, and he said, you take care of her very nicely because she is very important. Same thing that was said to your son and other girls while taking care of law. Same thing that was said to Nanda and the Shoda about taking care of the Lord. So the same thing he told. So the same thing he told Vrishabhanu and Kirtida about Radharani. So you heard from Narasimhavaraj how Krishna was in the same crib as Radharani. You heard from Narasimha Maharaj, how when Krishna was in the same crib as Srimati Radharani, he called over and at Radharani, she opened her eyes. When he crawled over and looked at Srimati Radharani, she opened her eyes. She wanted to see Krishna first. She wanted to see Krishna first. So Radharani, he went in the forest and he was praying that he could see Radharani in her Kishori form. So Narada Muni went to the forest and he was praying that he could see Srimati Radharani in her Kishori form. She appeared to him along with Lalita Saki. Those who perform austerities for many days of Brahma, they get to see Srimati Radharani. So this was a special mercy of Radharani to Radharani. So this was a special mercy of Srimati Radharani to Narada Muni. So in the Sikshastra, first prayer, says Krishna, in the last prayer of 
Shikshashtaka. It says, Krishna, you may bring me close to you or you may step on me. But you are always my only Lord. So this prayer was spoken by Radharani. So this prayer was spoken by Radharani. Lord Chaitanya put it in his Shikshashtakam. And Lord Chaitanya put it in his Shikshashtakam. So Lord Chaitanya taught how we should serve Krishna in separation. So Lord Chaitanya taught that we should serve Krishna in separation. The mode of Radharani. This is the mood of Radharani. And uh, we can do that because we are actually separated. We can do that when we actually are separated. <laughs> so be fully conscious of Radha and Krishna. So we should be fully conscious of Radha and Krishna. So one time Radharani, she was in Navadvipa and she had created Navadvipa. One time Srimati Radharani was in Navadvipa and she had created Navadvip Dham. She blew on the fruit. She bite the fruit very enchantingly. She blew on the flute. She played the flute very enchantingly. So, Krishna was wondering who was playing on the flute. So, Krishna was wondering who is playing on the flute. I, I never heard anyone else play the flute so beautifully. I've never heard anyone else play the flute so beautifully. So Krishna came and then he saw his Radharani playing the flute. So Krishna came and then he saw that it was Radharani playing the flute. And he said, you have made this beautiful dham for me. And uh, she said, and he said, you have made this beautiful dham for me. So this dham will have all the holy places over here. And this dham will have all the holy places. They will appear here. And. Uh, I like Vrindavan, it will have the same potency. Like Vrindavan, it would have the same potency. So, in Avrindavan, the uh, any closer souls done brings a thousand times of So in Navadri Dham, any devotional service done brings one thousand times the benefit. But in Vrindavan, also any offense done is a thousand times serious. In Vrindavan, any offense done is also a thousand times more serious. But in Avadhidham, the offenses are not multiplied. But in Navadvipdham, the offenses are not multiplied like that. So, Radharani 
has the kind of... So, so Radharani, she is the creator of Navadvip Dham. Now the Dham has Anjadvip. Navadvip Dham has Anjadvip. And eight other islands. And eight other islands. Which nine are corresponding to on the uh, time processes of the Rosal Sword. These nine are corresponding to the nine processes of devotional service. Shimantadi, Godrandi, Shimantadi, Godrandi, Hazardi, Kohadi, Matadi, Koladi, Ritudi, Ritudi, Janudi. Chanadi, Janadvi, Arvadhadrandi, Vadadrandi, Hudradi, Gudradi. So the Jagannath Temple is in the Srimantadi. So our Jagannath Temple is in Srimantadvi. Vajina Thakur's house is in Srimantadvi. So, uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur's house and Surabhi Kunj, they are in Godramadvi. So, Radharani designed this how the Dham. So, Srimati Radharani, she like this, she designed Navadvi Dham. The pleasure of Lord Krishna. For the pleasure of Lord Krishna. So, in the Karsana, there is an artist who drew Rama Krishna Jansi. In Varshana, there is an artist who drew Radha and Krishna dancing. In the mood of peacocks. In the mood of peacocks. Peahen. And peahen. This artist. But this artist. He was blind. He was blind. <laughs> but his painting is very beautiful. But his painting is very beautiful. Apparently, Radharani. And the gopis are looking at one peacock dancing. Apparently Radharani and the gopis, they are looking at peacock. a peacock dancing. dancing. Krishna came up, he said, you usually looking at me, why are you looking at the peacock? So uh, Krishna came out and said, Usually you are looking at me, but why are you looking at the peacock? Radharani said, peacock is dancing. Radharani said, peacock is dancing. So then Krishna went by the side of the peacock and started to dance. So then Krishna went by the side of the peacock and he started to dance. Then he asked Radharani, how is this? Then he asked Radharani, how is this? All right, but peacock is better. <laughs> All right, but peacock is better. <laughs> then he started dancing more intensely. Uh, then he started dancing more intensely. So then he was asking, uh, how is this? Then he would ask her, now how is this? Better. Better? <laughs> <laughs> Almost like the peacock. Almost. <laughs> so then Krishna went, he really danced. Then Krishna, he really danced. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, well, that attracted Radharani. And that attracted Radharani. She got up and danced with Krishna. She got up and she danced with Krishna.
the Zaza Vice. Uh, I don't know what they call the Vice. But it's on like the top of the hill of Marsana. I, there's also another place, I forget the name, but it's on top of a hill near Barshana. Yeah. Oh, she, uh, she was on a, a, a scale, she was on a scale, on one side. Oh, oh they, and she was on a scale, kind of a balance, Tula Bharam. So Krishna told the gopis. So Krishna told the gopis. So if, you, so if you want to balance her weight, then you should give gold. If you want her, if you want her, then you should give gold. So the gopis were taking out their bangles. All on the other side. And putting them on the other side of the balance. So they put so much gold. Finally, uh, uh, right. Finally, they put so much gold that the gold outweighed Srimati Radharani. I guess Krishna Rama. So like this, Krishna and Radha have unlimited pastimes. What? Apparently, I told the day, Prabhupada was staying with some congregational members. Apparently, I was told today that Srila Prabhupada was staying with some congregational members. And other than I, I told Prabhupada, please tell us some story of Radha and Krishna. And the husband and wife, they told Prabhupada, please tell us some story of Radha and Krishna. Prabhupada refused. Prabhupada refused. Not advanced enough. He said, I am not advanced enough. No, no, not advanced enough. You are not. You, you are not. Okay. You, you are not advanced enough. Huh. Not advanced enough. Not advanced enough. So then, I don't know, we are advanced. They said, no, no, we are advanced. Tell us. You can tell us. Some pastime of Radha and Krishna. Huh, you may be advanced. He said, you may be advanced. I am not. But I am not. <laughs> These pastimes are very confidential. So these pastimes are very confidential. And uh, so in uh, 1970, he tells her, so, in 1970, in Calcutta, Srila Prabhupada gave me sannyas. So, today is my anniversary. So, today, Radhashtami is my 54th anniversary of sannyas. And uh, I normally would stay in Mayapur. I normally would stay in Mayapur. But I was requested not to stay in uh, Malaysia. But I was requested to stay in Malaysia. Apparently the class is simultaneously being Translated. I have on here. Apparently, the class is being directly transmitted in Mayapur and here. Yeah. Oh, 
speaking a few words in Bengali. So I will speak a few words in Bengali. राधारानी विशेष भाव एक कारण इस कृष्ण भक्ति विस्तार कर मायपुर राधारानी नवदीप धाम तैयारी मायपुर धाम विशेषकर सेवा कर मायपुर निबासी जरा आज तरह सकल के आशीर्वाद पटा कृष्ण मत रस्तु So like that, we are simultaneously having class in Mayapur and here in Kuala Lumpur. So today also, Sakura Devi Das appeared on the same day. Today also, Vishaka Devi appeared on the same day as Shrimati Radharani. So, we thank the Saga, Saga one of the confidants of our life. Lalita and Vishaka. Vishaka is one of the confidential associates of Shrimati Radharani. Many are candles. Many temples. They have Radha and Krishna, and Lalita and Vishaka. Vishaka appeared today. Vishaka appeared today. Radha or Radha, you know, Chaur or. After our convention in Johor Bahru, Kripa Sindhu's mother had an accident. Kripa Sindhu's mother had an accident. She is in the ICU. And she is in the ICU. So if you can pray for her. So if you can pray for her. Acha, 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 Mama. Her name is Acha Mama. Yeah, her name is Acha Mama. Acha Mama. Acha Mama. Acha Mama. Acha Mama. Acha Mama. Yeah, Acha Mama. So today we want to pray. Baba was saying that we 
Gobi Sarada Rado Harari Sarada Vista. So Prabhupada is telling us that if we go in front of Radha Madhav and Radharani tells Krishna, this is a good devotee, please accept him. Then all success is guaranteed. Oh. He asked why Krishna has his fast till midnight. So we have we ask uh, we have Krishna ask us to fast till midnight. Radharani we only fast till noon. And Radharani we fast only till noon. <laughs> why is that? Why is that? How about Prabhupada said Radharani is more merciful. <laughs> so, today we have noontime Abhishek. So today they had noontime Abhishek in Mayapur. In Mayapur. And then uh, today we have different programs. Rest of the day. And then they have different programs for the rest of the day. Here is a working day in Kuala Lumpur. Here it is a working day in Kuala Lumpur. So all the festivities, all the shark were held in the evening. So all the festivities at Abhishek were held in the evening. Om Tatsat. Om Tatsat. So Hare Krishna dear devotees, thank you His Holiness Sri Chaitanya Maharaj for giving us a second address on the glories of Shrimati Radharani. I was trying to keep the climax uh, later, but Guru Maharaj has uh, made the official announcements. Actually, as Srila Guru Maharaj mentioned, that today is the 54th anniversary, anniversary which took place in 1990 at the age of 21. 1970, sorry, 1970 at the age of 21. So I was so excited. Can we say three Hari Bowls to both the men? Hari 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 You know something? I see beautiful exchanges between both the God Brothers, His Holiness, Bhakti Viknumunash Narshika Maharaj, as well as His Holiness, Chapataka Maharaj. So much we can learn in the way they both reciprocate and take care of each other so lovingly. Huh? So we say another Hari Bol to both of them. Thank you for teaching us by example. The other thing that I'd like to mention to all of you here is that uh, currently His Holiness Rajapataka Maharaj is the longest serving GBC appointed by Srila Prabhupada. And I was also told by Naru Gopal Prabhu and others, which I, I can't say because I did no research, but in the Gaudiya Math, he is also the longest serving sannyas at the moment. So it is so beautiful, so much we can learn from that. And, uh, you know, somebody asked me, Prabhu, why don't you give up your, your MC job to others? Now that you have a stroke, that I had a stroke and I said, leading by example, my spiritual master, he gave me this service 40 years ago and I'm still carrying on. And I really thank Srila Guru Maharaj for giving me this service. So now we will request that uh, both the sannyasis kindly move to this.
this side of the stage, Srila Guru Maharaj and Srila Dasha Guru Maharaj. So the Srila the offering of gifts will take place to the divine couple, Sri Sri Radha Gokula Nadda. So we want some space in the middle. Dear devotees, dear devotees, I know you all are wonderful devotees. Please give some way in the middle so that those who are bringing gifts can walk and bring the gifts. Okay? So both the suggestions, please give a Yasasan to Narshaka Maharaj also. This side. Panya Pracha Prabhu, very good. Thank you. Thank you. So please give way in the middle. Ask them to move. Please give way in the middle. Because this. Please give way in the middle. So that we can bring the gifts of offering to the divine couple.